Geo magic, geo magic, design X go. 3D dreams with an easy flow. Automate, generate, pictures align. Turn those scans into a CAD design. In this tutorial, we'll go ahead and we'll take uh, scans that were collected. We we went ahead and scanned this object in a device, a, in a vice, and flipped it over and scanned it again. And we'll just go through the process of taking scans, putting them together, making them watertight and printable, and um, just creating a model that you can uh, send to directly to Additive. So to start out with, we'll just take both of these groups and I'll just crop out some of this. So we have all these tools built into the software where I can crop areas of the model out. And I'm just going to be a little bit generous there and, you know, over select just because I know I have plenty of data on the other side here where I can just zoom in here and make sure I select that I can select through. And there's other options here you know i can use a polygon selector there's all kinds of different ways of selecting with all these selection tools so once i have these um, two objects cropped i tend to take each time with the arm you pull the trigger you have a separate scan over here in the tree so what I tend to do is I just do a best fit of the scans to each other real quick before I fit them together. So I put it on this global fine here and I hit OK and I just fit those together. And this is just a workflow thing that I like to do. Um, sometimes you can get away with doing it um, all together here, as you'll see as I align these together. But you can uh, best fit the individual groups to each other and then fit everything together as one. So we just did it on that one and you can do it on the other one, but I just wanted to show that I do that. Like you don't have to, but the next stage is to just piece these two together and I do it local based on picked point. So with this one, you can say this object is going to be fixed. You click in the moving group. This object is floating. And if you flip the object, you don't, always have to do this right if you can scan from one perspective and get the object completely you can bypass having to align these all together but you just come right in and it's pretty easy just to select some different areas on the model um, and you see I'm not being very precise here I'm just zooming in and out and selecting specific areas on the model and you see over here that it updates and they're still a little bit off but what happens is the software will go ahead and take those three points and go ahead and you see that best fit it all together. And then I can toggle back over to the global fine and just tell it to global fine everything all at once and then hit that button to allow it to do it. So once that's done, you just hit OK. So now we have this object and it's all these separate scans um, and now what we do is we'll just take that and come over to the polygons tab and go ahead and hit merge and there's some different algorithms in here but you just select all of the scans that you want to merge and I just come over to volume merge and I just tell it to I'm gonna tell it to keep the original data and then merge them together into one triangle polygon object so now that it's one polygon object, I'll turn those others off. And you see here, we have one polygon object, but you'll see there's still a little bit of little bits and pieces and stuff. So we have this tool called Healing Wizard, which will allow you to just select which mesh. I'm just going to say this mesh right here fix all these problems. And there's all these different common problems that we see with meshes when you're scanning them um, small little clusters floating in space which we notice there and you got twisted polygon faces we got all kinds of little things that happen so you can just fill those and fix those and you see now we are done but we're not quite there because there are some small areas on the model that are missing right so you can come over with the whole fill tool 
and you just select which mesh you want to use and then you can come over and say I want to fill these holes and I can just come over and just manually click on the boundaries like that to fill them or I can do just a control A on screen and it will just select all of the holes and then hit OK and fill all of them. So now there's all kinds of tools in here. Just to show you some of the extras, if there's some defects, um, you can come over and you can, again, select which mesh you want to work with because I kept all the other ones. And I can scale this down, but I can use the smart brush, the smoothing tool, and if there are any, any areas of the mesh that there's issues with, that you can um, use that. And then you also have the ability to come over and say D feature too, which is um, I can use the brush and select an area and just say remove this. And you see it will remove that. And it works for areas like this too. So if I come over and select, I'll just use this selection tool here. So once I select that, I can just say, select that custom region, delete it, and then we can come over here and do a hole fill. And you got different types of hole fill, by the way. You could say, I want to fill this flat and fill that flat. Um, so you can kind of come around and remove things. Uh, D feature should, you can also use D feature, by the way. So if I just come over here with D feature, use this brush hit OK and you'll see that I'll just go ahead and remove that area and then once you're done you could just run the healing wizard one more time and it might find a couple little poly faces here and there and there you go you have a bounded solid mesh here that you can go ahead and print but before I go you you can do one other thing in here in the software um, so this is a polygon mesh that's completely bounded and ready to print but if you needed to send this over to CAD and uh, we have a bunch of tools to model and extract CAD and do that but if you just needed to get this exact object over to into CAD ready to work with over there it, like you just needed something representing this object inside of cat to design around or whatever you can then use the auto surface command so if we're going to auto surface this we just come over to the exact surfacing tab click on auto surface select the mesh that we want to deal with so my merged one here and you could get rid of the original scans i just keep them around just in case i have to go backwards um, but you could just select mechanical or organic and these are just two different approaches to uh, modeling a, a part with the auto surface command one may work better than another one in many different types of instances the names are mainly just to describe the general approach that if it's a very mechanical part this one may work better and if it's a very organic or sculpture type part then this one may work better but it's not a hard and fast rule there so if I go ahead and hit OK, it will go ahead and wrap NURB surfaces around it. And what this will do is convert it over to a CAD object that then can be saved out as a step. I just sat neutral all the different interchange formats. Um, it's not going to have any history or anything. It's just wrapping surfaces around so you can send this over to CAD. So if we turn off the mesh, now you see that we have the solid body and we can come over and say export and I can export it a variety of different ways. I can click on it in the tree and add it to the export there and then hit OK. 
and save that out as a, one of the neutral formats. Now, if I was going to go straight to my printing software and I didn't do the auto surface, I can just take this object and I can hit export this guy and say export. And then I would save it as a STL, PLY, OBJ, any of those uh, mesh formats and then load it up into my printing software. So this has been a tutorial on how to take scans, uh, merging them together and creating a nice solid bounded object and then converting them and saving them out as uh, either CAD or a mesh. Thanks a lot. Geomagic, Geomagic, Design Expo. 3D dreams with an easy flow. Automate, generate, choose a line. Turn those scans into a CAD design.